all those numbers, if they are collected, if they are not personalized, if it doesn't make me care whether I'm a person who is from a destination country or a transit country or even a source country, until we get people to understand why they should care about those numbers, then it's a waste of time. It doesn't matter. So I was glad to be invited to come here and talk about my feelings about how we can communicate data in a more effective way. And also then therefore, hopefully, through citizen participation, influence policies. Because I think sometimes policies are made divorced from the reality of the citizens for whom those policies have been made for. Get out of the boardrooms into the streets and actually get people to understand. Because then, not only will they participate, but also it means whatever policies that any official or any government comes up with is more relevant, understandable, and collaborative. It's not top-down, it's all of us together finding a solution. To communicate, to be able to, it's to tell that human story. That woman who's leaving Kenya or Burundi to go and work in, in Saudi Arabia or whatever, or that Kenyan, or that, that nurse who's leaving maybe the Caribbeans to go and work in the UK because they have a shortage in terms of health service personnel. I mean, we need to see it as an enrichment, not as a takeaway. For us, we'll see it, oh, I'm losing my best nurses, maybe, but there are more, we can grow more. And that's not the only thing, maybe there are opportunities there, they learn something they can bring back. Because I think for me, as long as we are going to be human beings, we will walk. And walking means we will go anywhere. And as long as we are human beings, we'll have to accept the reality. People will come to us. Maybe we want to put rules, regulations, how people should come to us, but at some point you have to accept this. We're becoming more in need of each other.